Welcome, uh, my name is Evan Jones and today I'll be showing you how to use EndNote in conjunction with Microsoft Word on a Windows based operating system. Uh, so yeah, so today I'll be showing you how to insert uh, text in text references and uh, you, you know your final reference on a document through Microsoft Word. So at this stage I'm assuming you have already downloaded EndNote. Uh, if you haven't, I suggest that you do so now, download and install it and then come back and watch this video clip. Alright, so to begin with we need to open up EndNote. So I've, already, I've actually already got EndNote open. Um, so to do this you uh, click on the start bar, uh, go all programs, find EndNote, the folder called EndNote and the actual icon is the EndNote program. So click that and that will then open up EndNote. So what we see here, this, this is it, this is EndNote. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add our reference into EndNote. So to do this, we click on the button at the top here um, with the white document with the green plus sign. Hover over it, it says new reference and you can either click that or control N to add the new reference. So we'll do that now. Excellent. All right, so this is where you add your reference into EndNote. So um, the first thing you need to do is change your reference type. Now, today I'm referencing, referencing a YouTube video called My Future Art Classroom by Nicole Ioma. Um, don't make the mistake I did the first time I tried to do this and assume that, that a YouTube video comes under audio visual material because it does not. It, is actually, it actually still comes under web page. It might seem obvious to you, but I did make the, that mistake myself. Alright, so we've changed that to web page. Uh, first thing we, we want to do is to add the author. Now I will note at this stage that you'll see me flick through programs pretty quickly. Uh, to do this, just hold Alt, Alt and press Tab and that'll change between programs. You can do it pretty fast. Alright, so the author is Nicole Ioma, so I'm just going to copy and paste this to save time. So highlight it, Control c to copy it, Alt Tab to go back to EndNote and Control v to paste. Um, I'm not changing her name to a capital N because her username does not include a capital N. I'm just going to keep it exactly how she has it. Alright, so that's the author in. Uh, next we want the year. So I have this uh, document here which sort of tells me how to lay out a YouTube document in APA style. Um, so the year it, uh, actually needs, needs to be laid out like this. So it's year, uh, month, day. So to get this information we go back to YouTube and we can find it here. So it says uploaded on the 7th of October 2010. So back to EndNote, 2010, October 7. That's that done. Next we need the title. So back to YouTube, the title is My Future Art Classroom. Um, you will also notice with the title, if you look at my reference, my layout reference, is it has title of the video, and then in these brackets it has a video file. So we need to, we need to add that as well. So, we're going to copy and paste the title back into EndNote, like so. Then we're going to add at the end that it is a video file. Excellent. Um, next, we want to add the publisher. So, we know the publisher is YouTube because that is where I got the video from. Um, I also want to add an access date. So, it is 2013, April 14. That's the access date. Uh, next, we want to add in some keywords. Keywords will help me find my reference um, when I'm searching for it uh, for, for later use. It'll just help me find it and help me classify different references. So if I have like 100 references and I'm looking for a few, I can type in a keyword and the references relevant to that keyword will come up. So I'm going to type in technology, art, classroom, Literacy and school. That should, that should cover it, I think. And finally, we need to add in our URL address. So, to get the URL address, we go back to YouTube, where my reference is. We click up here in the search bar. Once, it'll highlight, highlight the URL for you. Copy it, Control c back to EndNote, Control v to paste it. And, that is, and that's done. So, we have everything all set out now in EndNote. What we do now is we save it, file, save, and we close it over here. Don't click on the big X button, because that'll close the program. Click on the small one. And that is our reference added, as we can see here. Um, 
on the right here, we can also see a preview of how it's going to look, how it, how it looks, to make sure we've added it all correctly, which we have. Excellent. Um, another important thing to note about EndNote is that you can change your reference style up the top here. So it's already in APA, which is what I want to do, but if you want to change it to Chicago, you can. You'll notice that it changed here. Um, but I'm going to leave it on APA because that's what I want. And that is done. Um, so now it's time to add our reference into uh, Microsoft Word. So click on your Microsoft Word, get, have your document open, and we're going to add it. Um, at this stage, I just want to note that you'll see these, uh, you know, the incorrect spellings or incorrect inverted commas sort of thing, spellings of Nicolaioma. Again, I just want to stress, I haven't capitalized the N because it's not capitalized on YouTube. All right, so uh, there are three references I need to add. Um, the first one is at the top when I first uh, make reference of the video clip. The second one is a direct quote from the video clip here. And the third one is just a, a whole reference, the end of end of text reference. So to do them, uh, we're going to click where we want the reference to go. So the first reference shall go there. Um, this reference, I really just need to add the date in because her name is already stated, uh, the author's name is already stated in the sentence. Uh, so what we do is in Microsoft Word, we click on EndNote X6. Um, it'll, depending on what version you have, it'll, it'll say something different, but it'll always say EndNote something. So click on that. Uh, next, you want to go click on Insert Citation, and then Find Citation. Now, my site, I'm lucky enough to have my citation appear straight away. If your citation does not appear straight away, just uh, type in some of the type in a keyword that you entered for your citation, and hit Find, and then you should find it'll come up. All right. Once it comes up, we want to insert. Now you get a number of different options of how to insert this reference. Um, we only want the, the year, so we're going to click on insert and exclude author because we don't want the author's name. Her name is already written in the actual text. We just want the year. Um, if you wanted the author and the year, um, you could have it. You, know, you could do this, this one here, or if you wanted just the author's name in brackets, you could have that one there. So anyway, I just want the year, so I'm going to I'm going to click insert and exclude author. As you can see, the date has come up exactly how I want it. I do need to add a space here because it, it hasn't added that space. So I added a space there to make it, well, you know, done properly. Um, and you'll also notice that it has added my reference down the bottom here, which is excellent. Um, it has bolded my reference. Um, so I'm just going to unbold it. It's only bolded it because it's just carried on from the bold reference the, bo the bold use of the word reference here. So if, if that wasn't in bold, then it wouldn't have bolded. So just make note of that. All right, so that's that done, that done. And we, I, my final one is the direct quote. So I'm just going to add that at the end. I'm going to pre-add my space this time. Click on EndNote, Insert Citation, Find Citation, again, Insert, just click the drop down uh, arrow button. Don't actually click the insert button because that will insert something different without giving you an option. And again, I want to insert and exclude the author. Perfect. And as you can see, that space that I added beforehand is spot on. So that's exactly how I want it. Um, so what you find with EndNote is the first reference you add for a book, it'll add your reference in the text and it'll also add it into your reference section. But for the second one, it already knows that it's it already knows that it's added that reference, so it won't add it again. Anyway, that is basically EndNote. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you have a lot of success using EndNote in your own documents. Um, and thanks for watching. All right, thanks.